this content is for kids. It's not for kids. No, isn't that what I said? No, it's not for kids. If oh. you are 13 years or younger, no. this is not for you. Do I have to kill somebody in order to actually make that point across? No, man, you don't have to kill Wait no a one. second. Oh, no, 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 no. If we return to our planet, the High Court may well sentence you to torture. Greetings, this is Septim Sen of Septim Sen vs. the World. I'm here for another First Impressions. Well, today we've got eh, Uncle Nick. Now, I didn't buy this for much. I got this at the Dollar Tree. I had heard that it wasn't that great. And, well, I was right. It really wasn't that great. So, it, but is it not worth a dollar? No, no, it's plenty worth a dollar. Uh... So, you know, we've got a, um, uh, Uncle Nick is played by Brian Pusheen, Pusheen for Mr. Show and the Sarah Silverman Project, which I was saying I recognized him, and, uh, he plays this guy, you know, Uncle Nick, who's invited to his brother's house for Christmas, uh, along with his sister, uh, and, uh, her, her husband, and her brother is married to this, you know, older uh, woman who is not really older, I'd say woman in her late 30s, early 40s, uh, who is trying to make this perfect family Christmas with her daughter, who she had with her ex-husband, and her son, uh, and both of them are kind of like checked out in a way, and it's uh, kind of unnerving, and Uncle Nick comes across as this total asshole who, you know, just drinks heavily, says inappropriate things, gets people drunk, lots of throwing up, lots of all this. And uh, eventually, you know, we learn a little bit more about why Nick is the asshole he is and uh, how everybody in the end is an asshole. <laughs> there are some nice touches to the plot. I like that he could play the uh, play the piano. I kind of like that the, there is that backstory. And I do like the whole incorporating this baseball game story in with the main story and how it works out at the end. You kind of kind of see how that works out, the little end credit stinger that they have. And I do, I, I, I kind of learned to hate the younger brother with him before the whole revelation and what changed. But uh, I still think that uh, overall it's not a good movie. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's got a lot of throwing up. It tries to be Bad Santa. It tries to be some sort of raunchy Christmas movie, and it misses the mark in a lot of ways. Going overboard, um, just not not hitting the right marks. Um, as far as acting, I mean, acting was okay. There are certain ones, like the one that playing his sister guy went overboard a little bit. Um, there's actually a uh, special feature in this called Barfo-Rama, which... Oh my gosh. Alright, no, I don't need to look at that. But there's some special features on this, too. But, um... You know, the sister has played probably the worst out of the group, but she was okay. I think everybody handled themselves alright as far as things go for this movie. Some of them probably knew this was not that great a movie, and they went on to it. Um, you know, I mean, he, he does a good job for what it's worth. He looks much nicer than on this cover than he ever looks in the movie. I didn't even recognize him in the movie. They, they took this cover poster at a different time. Like, trim your beard. Look clean. Uh, there you go. <laughs> and, uh, I thought overall, though, acting was, that was suitable. Music, suitable. And, uh, special features, they're okay. But with that being said, yeah. So who would like this? I think people who really like movies that are kind of negative and raunchy and kind of depressing, these type of comedies, I think they would like this all right. Um, 
I guess it's, you know, if you're okay with this sort of thing, that's about it. I mean, I think this is about on par with that one that um, Robin Williams was in. Uh, I thought that one was also um, much like this. I mean, it, it's okay, but there's a lot of depressing nature to it, and it's kind of raunchy for no reason at times. I don't know, but I do think that, you know, overall this is much, there are worse films, but there's, there's definitely much better. <laughs> but with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and uh, share. So what do you think of Uncle Nick? Is this one of your favorites? Uh, do you like Uncle Nick? Who do you think would like Uncle Nick? <laughs> Let us know in the comments below, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>